everyone, I'm Dr. Gan Yin. I come from Beijing Chaoyang Hospital, Capital Medical University. I'm the first author of this study. My topic is Blood is in failure and its stability in hospitalized COPD exacerbations are associated with lower risk of all cause mortality. At present, there are limited studies on association of blood eosinophilia failure with mortality of COPD patients. Our aims were to explore the association of blood eosinophilia failure at index hospitalization and stability of blood eosinophilia failure over five years with all cause mortality of inpatients for AE COPD. 829 ACOPD patients were grouped into two groups. According to blood yields in the field, 150 cells each microliter used as a cut off value, eosinophilic and non eosinophilic groups. In these patients, 241 COPD patients had at least three blood eosinophils measured from different hospitalizations and were divided into three groups, predominantly, intermittently, and rarely eosinophilic groups. In these AECOPD patients, 261 at baseline and 41 based on at least three measurements of blood eosinophils had increased blood eosinophils. For all cause mortality, increased blood eosinophils measured at index hospitalization and the predominantly increased eosinophils based on three or more measurements were associated with a lower all cause mortality of AE COPD patients. Patients with increased eosinophils, especially predominantly increased eosinophil levels, based on multiple measurements, had a lower risk of all-cause mortality. Blood eosinophilia can be used as a biomarker in hospitalized COPD exacerbations for predicting the risk of all-cause mortality. Thank you for your attention.